welcome back to another episode of Nemson in Utopia. And I've been busy messing with the uh, design, the look of the place. And I'm yeah, I'm sort of stuck that I'm liking it, uh, but I'm not sure about it yet. I want um, a touchscreen panel here for turning on and off the reggae chest. Because when I craft, the reggae chest needs to be off. Because what it does is you could craft something that say needs a cable and the reggae chest may sort the cable out into the cable slot before the machines have a chance to craft whatever it is that it needs. So I've got a healthy stock of stuff right now. Um, but whenever I craft anything I turn the reggae chest off and that is now done with a quick little redstone signal transmitted over to here to turn it off and then that stops it auto sorting the chest I've also disconnected a bit of it from here there and everywhere so now all you can see is what's in the resource chest uh, which is a stack of everything there's a few bits and pieces that I need to still work out and pick up but the applied energistic system only needs these resources to function and to make everything so that's perfect for the resource chest and then I've got these 12 slots left over for other resources in the same chest and that output basically just comes from the chest being read by the system I'm streamlining things as I add new pieces of tech into the system I'm streamlining it uh, like this this is what I'm working on today uh, this is pretty much everything I'm using for forestry right now and the be all and end all is fertilizer appetite makes fertilizer we all know that appetite and sand makes fertilizer and also ash and appetite make fertilizer but ash and appetite make more of the uh, appetite to make more fertilizer so that's a better deal which is why I started installing the peat so the peat bog makes peat from the farms which then burns to make ash, which then, combined with the appetite, makes the fertilizer. Uh, everything else is being limited in storage, but is also infinite, thanks to the Tome of Akahest. And I've been working on that particular system over in this room. This is what's getting set up now. <clears throat> A barrel of each of those materials means that I'm at 64 stacks capped, and then it won't produce any more. And I'll show you the basic setup before I start ripping it all down and changing it around a bit. That's what we're going to work on this episode, the Tome of Akahest. Now, at the minute, this looks a bit... Meh. I don't like it. So that's one of the things we're going to do. It's functioning and it works, but I want to turn it into something that looks cool. Now I know how it works. Now I know it works. I'll turn it into something cool. And uh, let's just show you with the dirt and the sand over here. Basically, I've got an item tesseract beaming in redstone from the bees. So the bees are producing so much redstone that I can just item tesseract it in here. And then there's also a tome of Akahest in there. And the dirt is basically a redstone and a dirt, and the tome equals 17 dirt. Constantly keeping the fabricator full, and then it goes back into the system uh, when there's space in the barrel. So as the barrel uses dirt or sand, it will take it from the fabricator, and the fabricator will very, very quickly turn one that it's got remaining into 17 new sand. So it stays full all the time. Crash, crash, thunder, lightning, yeah. And we're doing the same thing with oak wood, soul sand, and glowstone at the minute. Uh, now, I want to show you why I'm doing those items, um, but first of all, um, let's have a look at this. Now, I had a, another water bucket set up over there, and that was working fairly successfully, but the AE system seems to be a bit too quick for the dispenser to make water buckets. So I've had to do this little rig here. So it's still got the um, gold and gate, you've probably seen in previous episodes, where if there's items in the inventory and it's a red uh, empty bucket, it'll send out a redstone signal, and that signal will then cause the dispenser to fire 
and suck up some water. Now the AE system set up here to export empty buckets. So the empty bucket will export and go into the dispenser. The dispenser will then read that there's an empty bucket in it and fire and fill the bucket and then the bucket will suck out and go back in. Now these build craft pipes work slow enough for the dispenser to keep up with it. When I was importing and exporting with the AE system it was working too fast for the water buckets to actually be filled up by the dispenser. This is a nice steady system which works. So this gate here just literally has items in the inventory, energy pools, and pulls them straight back out again. But it does give it that enough time to get the water in. And then I use the water bucket over here for the bog earth, and the water bucket stays in the system here. This keeps these exported into the system so that the fabricators can use to make fertilizer or to make bog earth. This part of the system I want to move out the way and I want to get the uh, Tome of Akahest set up in this corner. And I've got a cool idea for it because there's only eight particular ones that I really want. Uh, let's go straight up through the four. There's only eight that I want and it's these eight particular things. That's the only things that I want the Tome of Akahest to do right now. The Infinite Dirt and Infinite Sand are basically for all of the uh, forestry recipes such as bog earth and hummus and there's another recipe regarding fertilizer that we can make using those as well the wood supply because I can get an infinite wood supply there I don't need to construct a, wood, um, a tree farm uh, I've also got cobblestone in there but I haven't rigged anything for cobblestone yet I think I'll probably just go and get some stacks of cobblestone and fill this up and then rig it up so that um, I'm not wasting redstone on cobblestone because we've got so much of it. Um, you can also do obsidian and soul sand and gunpowder and glowstone. Now uh, the soul sand and the gunpowder, you may not understand why I want those. Uh, but I will get around to showing you. And the obsidian, well the obsidian can be turned into uh, iron using a minimum shards and all that so that's an important part to not waste lava to do it that way and overall I'm getting the feel of how the place gets set up and laid out I mean this is going to have the marble bricks all around it so it'll be a nice display and I'll probably put the gold trim around it as well and I'm thinking it's looking pretty cool it's going to be looking cool and it's going to be very limited in what it can store. That's the point. So it doesn't overstore, not stockpiling. And I've still got this little rig which is currently completely full of junk. All of the junk in the world has come into this little system here. And I keep emptying excess stock and discs and stuff into there. Whereas the other systems have now only got in them what is showing on the screens. Which is good. I'm liking it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip down that that I've just shown you upstairs, the Tome of Akahes stuff, and then we'll get to rebuilding in a moment. Alright then, so let's get started. We've got all of the bits and pieces that I assembled over here in chess. Now, what I'm looking for is a nice look to it. So what I've considered is doing a little bit of a step around, step away and give it a bit of space in the corner and I'll probably put the water bucket dispenser thing in the corner over there so let's give it a bit of a redstone thing going on over here let's go there and put a chest on the top, that's where the redstone is going to go and then around about this way, so we've got five from that side Five from this side, round about there, with the chest over the top. And that should work for the system that I've got in mind. Now we've got fabricators. Now the fabricators I'm going to have on each side being pulled out. As I've got eight different things that I want to bring out from the fabricators, um, I may actually go on the top front, back and sides as it were. Do I reckon on the top look better? 
Possibly. Let's uh, get another couple. One, two, thank you. And let's put these on the top up here. Right, I still want to be able to have access to the chest though, so maybe not the best idea to do it this way around, but it's a nice little cluster anyway. Like that. There we go. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Um. Now let me go fetch those blocks. Give me blocks. Give me blocks. Thank you. Let's fix that. 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 Fix that. Where the other one go? There it is. Okay. Okay. Come on. Let me up. Doing some work here. Doing work. Working. Man at work. Thank you. Okay, so <coughs> uh, each one of these, these chests for a start are going to have redstone in them. So that's the first thing to set up. And it's not going to let me access the redstone with that on the top, is it? Great. And maybe with that on the top. Will it with that on the top? I don't know. Let's find out. Yes, it does. That's a good thing then. Let's put that down there then. Um, thank you. Let's put those on the top. Put those on the bottom. I've oh, got one more spare. I haven't got a spare one. Let's just chuck that in there for now. Right, so. Redstone, redstone, redstone. Where did I put the redstone? Yeah. Let's get a ton of redstone. I don't want the uh, things to fill up with redstone as soon as. I want them to be in there like this. I keep one stack on me. So for every piece of redstone, I basically turn the redstone into another resource using the tome. And the tome has no durability, which is awesome. Right, so this is going to require... A redstone and a thing for each one. You're telling me, oh, I did that the wrong way around, didn't I? Okay, so let's get rid of that. Let's put this into there like that. Make tiny piles into full. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. Thank you. Let's get rid of that now. 62, awesome. Just what I wanted. Right, put that in there like that. Okay. That one. Put that in there like that. And that in there. Should keep them occupied so they won't just automatically do things that I don't want them to do. Uh, and each one is going to have a different function. A different thing that it's producing. And the reasons why I'm doing it this way around are also important to note the infinite amounts of stuff that I get from the redstone awesome the Tome of Akahes can do a lot of different things but why only these ones and why soul sand well I'll show you in a minute Let's just get some of these set up so we got redstone and a tome in each and Let's just grab some more redstone from the inventory. I'll fill that up again afterwards. Right, so... And that's going to need a tome in it. But that tome's the last thing I want to put in. Okay. Right, so... Now we want to get these different materials made. Uh, I also want the... Other bits and pieces. So let's start with what's first on my list? Dirt. Let's just get the dirt stocked up first. So we'll make this one dirt. So we'll put all that in here. Right, and we'll take one of you and put that in there. Now that will show that the Tome of Akahest will turn it into 17 dirt, which will constantly keep that fed and full which is just what we want. Next on our list we'll have cobblestone actually. So let's make the cobble. 
make of the cobble. Cobblestone. So we'll make cobblestone this one here. So the Tome of Akahest will make 17 cobblestone there. Now before I turn that one on, uh, let's turn it off, I'll fill it full of cobblestone because we've got loads of cobblestone anyway. But this is just to make sure that I don't have to refill and I don't have to transport it and I don't have to figure anything out like that. And next we'll go with sand. Put the sand on this one as well. And we'll put sand in this here. And we'll tell it that with sand it produces 17 sand per sand with the Tome of Akahest, which is cool. And this one here, yep, that one's empty. That one will do oak wood. So we're always going to have lots and lots of oak wood. So fill that up. Now I've run it already, that's why I don't want to overproduce, because then I've got a load of excess stock that I've got to store away. Now the other ones are interesting ones. The obsidian, the soul sand. Soul sand I've got some of here. Obsidian and soul sand. Now soul sand is a an interesting one. Let's just show you this. Show you uses of soul sand. Other than these bits and pieces that you use soul sand for fairly irregularly, infernal bricks and things like that. Uh, we've got a shapeless crafting here that turns it into such and such. You can also make it into that, the Akhest, Alkahest, which whatever, don't really bother. Also using it for soul frames. So in the whole bees thing, soul frames will be a good thing, so we'll get on with those. Um, you smelt it down into vile dust to make um, the soul shards mod work, so it's useful there as well. Micro blocks, yeah. Powered furnace, yeah. Induction smelter makes nether brick and sulfur. Not really bothered. This is what we're looking at an industrial centrifuge. So I'm going to set up industrial centrifuges around here to get saltpeter. Uh, the oil, the coal dust is useful for IC2 as well. Sand I'll probably just destroy. But the saltpeter. Now, uses for saltpeter, if we have a look. As another use for saltpeter, saltpeter with some sand and dirt, which are already in the system, makes fertilizer. So it's another way of making fertilizer for if I run out of appetite, I've got the saltpeter uh, fertilizer available to me to make, which uh, gives me great hope that I won't run out system wise. Um, the other things gunpowder and obsidian, so we get the. Uh, We'll get the glowstone in the bottom here, actually. Glowstone's there, and that just doubles up glowstone automatically for me. And I also use glowstone in the AE system, so that's quite important for me as well. And glowstone's just generally useful in a lot of different mods. And we need some obsidian, so let's take an obsidian out of there. And that will save this cooking up obsidian all the time because I'll just beam obsidian into the chest to fill it up faster from the Tome of Akahes setup. So obsidian should probably be that one there. Why not? Let's put that in there. Put those in there. And that'll make three from one, which is very good as well. Uh, and then we've got gunpowder. Gunpowder's probably in storage right now, all the gunpowder I've got. But gunpowder for IC2 is another good thing to be playing around with. Let's get a couple of gunpowder out of there and we'll soon have plenty. Uh, at the minute I've got the link turned off to the whole system so it won't go rush around all over the place. Let's put that in there and put that in there. Whoa. Why isn't that working? Um, I was pretty sure gunpowder was one of the things. Let's have a look. See if there's something else I need to do. Gunpowder and four. Okay, that's why I've got that wrong then. So it's gunpowder and four makes double gunpowder. Okay, that's cool. Right, so the obsidian and the gunpowder need filling up. And I don't have any excess stock of either really. The obsidian I've got excess stock of, but yeah, that's by the by. Let's put that in there and put the redstone in there and set this up to uh, private channel receive only redstone and that will bring the redstone down from 
up above and that'll get those up and running with redstone and tomes they'll soon soon create full inventories full of the required ingredient ingredients and then they'll soon fill my barrel up once I've linked it to the system so they're all set up there this can also be set up to receive only and that can receive the redstone and then we get around the back and we'll put the tome in like so and then these guys that's already full that one's already full that one's already full but the cobblestone one will probably just quickly make cobblestone as soon as I turn it on so well let's show show it in action it just there we go soon fills up infinite cobblestone but I'm just keeping a few stacks around I know there's a ton of cobblestone in the world but this just makes sense to keep it all localized and these are the eight things that I want from the AE system uh, from this Tome of Akahes system and I presume I can just put another module on any time I want really but this is basically now just a case of putting import buses on and I'm gonna need eight import buses aren't I for the eight different types of things that I'm bringing in so the import buses I'm just gonna put around and about so where's the best place for this one probably on the top for this one there and there that's where I've got access to other things and if I'm doing the top there shall I do the top here um, let's go from the back over these ones there 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 we'll just import these directly from there there and there and then the cables can just hook up and if I go no not there thank you give me that one back without breaking everything Thank you. Um, <laughs> there. Bring that up. Take that over there. And connect that into the system. Not quite straight. I hate it when that happens. So it's a very simple system for importing it all the way we want to. And it'll just import from all of those into the correct relevant chest because it's got nowhere else to take it. And that's the thing about it, it's got nowhere else to be, nowhere else to go. Let's bring this over this way, connect that up there, and connect this one up on top. And now that's pretty much all running and functioning and all just going to keep producing constantly while I've still got redstone which I'm likely to still have plenty of redstone in the system for a long long time so let's turn this bit on so now the only place that this goes the only storage available everything all these chests have got defined disks in them that won't let anything else be stored in the system even this chest here only allows water buckets and empty buckets so the whole system here will only allow these things to come in and we'll turn it on and it should just fill up should just import everything very quickly just to keep that stocked up nicely for some reason cobblestone is not I think that's probably because I didn't want it to or I haven't turned it on right I don't know we'll see but now my gunpowder supplies my obsidian supplies and everything are stocking up nicely it's just that cobblestone what's gone wrong with the cobblestone let's go and have a look go and see Cobblestone was one of these, wasn't it? That one. Okay. It's not importing anything. Why not? From the top. It's it's from the top. It doesn't like it from the top. Okay, so we'll change that round. It doesn't import from the top of a fabricator. That's useful to know, I guess. Uh, I didn't know that before. Um, I didn't think I had those sort of problems, but I'm guessing yes, it does then. Let's take these down, fill them out in the other places. Um, <coughs> where do I put it then? Let's, yeah, I didn't really want to put it anywhere on these. Can I put it on the top instead? That's an idea, and have that on the back. 
Well, after much messing about with the design, I've finally come up with that as the end result. So the Zycorium blue lighting goes in with the um, fabricators and they're all labelled up to say what each one's producing and they're all producing nicely. Now the redstone comes in from the wait, the redstone comes in from the back, the tesseract's on the back, which means that the AE system goes out a little bit further, but not a big deal. And I've walled it all off so that it ends up being its own little corner of the room. So this room now has that little corner, all for the Tome of Akahest. And it's been running nicely while I've been making those lights, so we should be completely full of all these eight resources now upstairs. Let's have a quick check. Uh, I've been busy doing lots of projects as well as just doing this. Ah oh, yes, look at that. 4,096 of all of those resources sitting in the system. It won't pull any more, it won't pull any less. And I've also rigged out this a little bit as well. So this room here, you enter in. And it's got all this this side. And I've got space to put something on the other side as well. All linked into the system. Barrelfuls of the stuff. Which is cool. So uh, that's it for this episode. That's what I wanted to get done this episode. Next episode, I want to rig up some more bits and pieces to get some more fertilizer production. I've also got another little thing here that I want to rig up just to change around and sort out. This system here that I set up before, not quite working as effectively as I wanted it to. I've got a little blockage in here that the dirt isn't being exported from the system anywhere. So it's got no space left in the chest to fetch out the peat as it's produced. So I'm thinking I'm just going to put an incinerator block there and just have the dirt exported straight into the incinerator block. That's a nice quick job just to get rid of that. But I may set it up so it's on different ones because I've set it up with these AE cables to get fertilizer across all around the place at the minute. But that's going to be a bit more than I want. So I'm going to mess with that a little bit and fine tune things a little bit and keep designing and keep making it look cool and do some more towards this so that we've got all the fertilizer we could need for any farm project we want and what I'm doing in this space no idea yet um, I've got to do a bit of thermal expansion to make the automated processes for getting my tesseracts and energy cells and things but apart from that we're getting there, we're getting there. This project's getting there slowly but surely. And my other projects on the server, they're all getting there as well. Hopefully that the videos that I'm producing aren't too choppy because I am jumping between projects with different people. Uh, hopefully you can keep up with that this is my little personal project. And I will keep you informed and there'll be another video soon. So subscribe if you can and like if you liked. Catch you later guys.